strategic focus is very important for your business and you have to decide on one of three directions that I'm going to present in this video. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of Alan and Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader as an entrepreneur. I've been a coach, leader, manager, entrepreneur for more than 25 years, and I have now founded this life initiative, the global community of entrepreneurs, to help entrepreneurs become leaders and managers. This video today is about strategic focus so watch it until the end so that you will learn about the three choices that you actually have if you would not like to miss any of my content please subscribe to my channel here and don't forget to switch on the bell so that you're always informed about new contents now we have actually three strategic foci that are talked about and these are the following the first one is to offer the best product The second one is to be operationally most efficient, to be the most efficient organization. And the third one is to be closest to your customer. Now, number one, having the best product. Here, you are actually concentrating on building a great, great world leading product. The concentration is to be the best with your product and also to be the first in the market. So. For example, if you're looking at the story that I talked about, that I talked to you about uh, Holiday Inn and John Cummins Wilson, or Charles Cummins Wilson, excuse me, he actually concentrated on offering the best service. And so it can also apply to a service. Your concentration is actually on market research and research and development to develop the best product. An example for uh, a company that develops the best product is, for example, Tesla. Tesla, who is the leader in the category of electric cars. That brings me back to one point that I'd also like to mention with you. Sometimes the product that you are offering in the market is maybe not from the very beginning the very best product. So here, create a new category of a product. So if you're going back to the example of the hotels, you could, for example, create a, say, in quotes, female hotel. So a hotel that is only made for women with the special services that women like, special designs that women actually prefer and so on and so on. So you would have created the new category of a, in quotes, female hotel, and that could make you a leader of that product. The second category is to, the second strategic focus is to have the most efficient processes. Now, here, actually, you're concentrating on the actions that have to be done to produce your output, either your service or your product. Your quality is measured in cycle time, in yield, in idle time, in processing time, in quality, actually, of the final product that is going to be, for example, tasted or tried by the customer. Now here the process is very, very important. You measure the process, the speed, the time, the quality, and you constantly improve your process. You also standardize the process so that your focus can actually be on the quality of that process and not on the product or other stuff and that you are not in that you are not being overwhelmed by other aspects that might come into play. So the second thing is the most efficient operator. And here, obviously, a world-class example for that is McDonald's. They introduced the standardization of the production of hamburgers in the 1950s. And as I present to you in another video, Ray Kroc, the founder, actually led this little startup that actually belonged to somebody else to a world-class leader. Strategic focus number three 
is to be closest to your customers, to be very close and to give your customers exactly what they want. Now here the quality is measured in terms of speed of problem resolution, in terms of customer satisfaction when you're doing your surveys and that is very important in this business. Now for example there could be uh, commodity businesses like cement where you add this proximity to your customers as a service and you actually concentrate more on that which will then bring you additional revenues and will also create additional revenue for your customers. A world, world, world class example from my personal point of view in terms of customer service is actually American Express. Now American Express has actually the best customer service in the world, I would say. Just to give you one example, uh, many, many years ago, I wanted to book uh, a hotel with American Express points and I wanted to go to a Hilton hotel. Unfortunately, the deadline for booking that hotel had expired. So I already wanted to give up when I talked to their call center, but then the gentleman at the other end said, listen, what you are going to do now, please subscribe to the customer loyalty program of Melia, which is a Spanish uh, chain of hotels, they will give you immediately a number, you note down this number, you won't have the card yet, come back to us, tell us this number and we will book a Melia hotel at a similar standard as Hilton just with your points. Another story with American Express who are from my point of view the best service organization in the world and who have this extreme concentration on the third strategic focus being close to your customers is a story with my children actually who many many years ago when they were children really not, not, not even teenagers they experimented around with um, YouTube and not YouTube excuse me uh, iTunes and they they downloaded that they copied something and I got a bill from iTunes and they did something which was not not allowed you know so I got a bill from iTunes which I paid and then I asked at American Express uh, about you know this this um, specific um, item on my bill and I um, I, I got the response, well, let me clarify this, uh, this um, if, if that has actually happened by mistake, we will uh, credit this amount to you. He, the, the, the guy at the call center talked to his boss, um, one minute later came back to me, Mr. Rao, you're such a good client and we decided to credit you this amount. I mean, it was a few shackles, you know, it was not, we were not talking about, you know, uh, 100 euros or something, but it was a sign of being close to me being really caring about me as a customer. So, as a conclusion, three strategic foci, choose one of them, because, not one, two, choose one of them because you can only be world-class in one of them. Either you want to develop the best product or you want to have the fastest and best and most efficient processes or you want to be closest to your customer. Choose one of these three and you will have more success as an entrepreneur. If you would like to have all the tricks and tips and methodologies or more tricks and tips and methodologies about entrepreneurial leadership from me, please subscribe to my channel now. Click on the red button below. If you like this content, give us a thumbs up and feel free to share. I'm Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a better leader. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having me. And don't forget, Lead yourself.